What's up, YouTube? Capital G here is your Yu-Gi-Oh! body ready for a potentially two to three hundred dollar officially Konami licensed state of the art high quality dual disc that is specifically made for adults and not children. Because if you are ready to pony up some cash, this could be yours in the future. Now, I would like to state that I do not know exactly how much this product is going to be because they have not given us the price on it. But similar products have been on the website of this company, Proplica, for you know somewhere in the ballpark of like $300 they've got a lot of expensive stuff which I'll show you and I believe that this is the display model don't quote me on this, but I think that this is based on Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds. I'm not exactly sure if they'll have different, you know, different dual discs based on the different eras of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is an officially licensed product. Konami has actually given this company, Proplica, the license to make these dual discs, and the interesting thing about this company as opposed to some of the crappier dual discs that we've gotten in the past. A lot of times during the DM era, these products were made specifically for children, for, you know, you to be able to give them, you know, $40, $30, they get their dual discs and they can act like they're Yugi, et cetera, et cetera, but they were known to be cheap and flimsy, and you can see how even this picture right here, it's got scratches all over it, et cetera, et cetera. The company that is making this dual disc named Proplica, this is a Japanese company, and they're known for high-quality products, and also, they're not known to be making products for children. These are not kids toys which you guys are looking at these products are actually designed basically for cosplayers now you guys know cosplay can be incredibly popular but it can also be an incredibly lucrative market and obviously there are lots of Yu-Gi-Oh fans around the world probably a lot of them do want to have some type of cosplay and I don't know this product could be incredibly lucrative for this company and you can see right here by the prices on this website these are not intended for children <laughs> I was looking at some of these prices and translating them to US dollars, for instance, the Sailor Uranus and uh, Sailor Neptune. These were the uh, two lesbian sailors, which <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't say lesbian without giggling. <laughs> Talk about being a kid. Anyways, uh, this is over 16,000 yen. And I did a quick I did a quick search just to translate this. That's about $150. And that's just for a couple of um a couple of small, like little, I guess wands, would you call them? Let's just go with wands. They've also got other things from you know keyblades with Kingdom Hearts, which I would imagine. Imagine because Kingdom Hearts 2 is like, or excuse me, Kingdom Hearts 3 is like right around the corner. I imagine that this might get really popular in the future. And then you have Sword of Victory from Excalibur. I'm not familiar if this is an anime series or a manga. I'm not really familiar with this one. 28,000 yen. Guys, you're talking about 300 plus dollars for some of these products. And now that they have the Yu-Gi-Oh! license, we might actually get ourselves a high quality dual disc. Now it does talk about a little bit more here on the YG Organization article. It talks about some of the things that you can expect. For starters, it does say that it is going to be able to fit or be able to fit official card game cards in sleeves. This means you can actually duel with this product. You can take this to regionals if you don't want to have a playmat or something like that. This thing can hold your cards. It can actually, actually well, I don't know because it doesn't actually look like it's a... Uh, <laughs> I, I forgot about Master Rule 4. I'm trolling. I don't know how this would work with Master Rule 4. Maybe this one is the 5Ds one is based on the 5Ds era. Maybe they will have a Master Rule 4 dual disc. But I'm like, yeah, where's the extra monster zone? And where's the, uh, you know, the other zones that you would need? But I think it would be kind of cool. If they did make one that could actually, like, not just for cosplayers, but if Konami did go out of their way to try to make a high-class actual dual disc that could be used instead of actual mats. Because really, when you think about it, right, you're, 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 you're probably thinking, like, Cap, what would really be the point? But you go to regionals or you go to, like, competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! events and you see so many players who use those Spellground mats that cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And, you know, those aren't any better than just a regular tournament mat. Or I don't want to say that they're, you know, not better than the mats that you you get out of like structure decks and starter decks and stuff like that because they are but those aren't really much better than your regular game mat and people still spend hundreds of dollars on those so i don't know why konami wouldn't be able to make a dual disc that actually functions and you could actually use that costs i don't know maybe 200 dollars license it out to a company that's popular that has a good reputation like Proplica, and then maybe it could be something that people could actually use. And it's not like you'd even have to be afraid of being caught a weed because you're at a fucking Yu-Gi-Oh tournament to begin with. Everybody there has some part of a weeb in them because if you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh, then you're a little bit weeby just by default. But what do you guys think? Would you be willing to spend your hard-earned money? Let's just say that this costs two hundred dollars because again, we don't know exactly what it's going to cost. I'm just basing my estimates on this website and the stuff 
that they sell. By the way, just side note, Sailor Jupiter is the best Sailor Scout. Fight me if you don't. If you don't agree, like actually fight me. But whatever you guys think, leave it in the comment section below. I don't know why they announced this so close to Christmas. I mean, I know that it's coming out in Japan first, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. But if they would have announced this a couple of months ago, I could have given Santa the heads up and I could have been like, yo, Santa, I got to get one of these official Konami licensed dual discs. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. As always, subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos.